Welcome, dear listeners, to a world where the veil between reality and terror wears thin. A world where the familiar turns frightful and the comforting becomes chilling. Today, we delve into the eerie unknown, unmasking the horrors lurking beneath the surface of a holiday cherished by many. Yes, we're talking about Thanksgiving, a time of warmth, gratitude, and family gatherings, but beware. For as we shall soon discover, not all Thanksgiving stories are filled with joy and laughter. Some are steeped in shadows, shrouded in mystery, and laced with a spine-tingling sense of dread. These are tales that transform the familiar into the fearsome, where the comforting crackle of the fireplace becomes the sinister whisper of unseen horrors. So, brace yourselves, dear listeners, as we journey together into the heart of these chilling Thanksgiving tales. Are you ready to step into the shadows and uncover the hidden horrors of Thanksgiving? Our first tale, dear listeners, takes us to a quaint family home where a Thanksgiving tradition turned terrifying. In the heart of a small town, nestled amongst rows of lovingly cared-for houses, there stood an old family home. This home, with its well-worn bricks and creaky shutters, was the setting of a long-standing Thanksgiving tradition. Every year, the extended family would gather, filling the house with laughter, warmth, and the delicious aroma of roasting turkey. But one year, this familiar scene took a sinister turn. The day started like any other Thanksgiving. The family awoke early, the children's faces glowing with anticipation as the adults prepared the feast. The house was filled with the comforting sounds of a bustling kitchen, the clatter of pots and pans providing the soundtrack to the morning. The turkey was placed in the oven and the countdown to the big meal began. As the day wore on, the house filled with more family members. Aunts, uncles, cousins all arrived, their cheerful greetings echoing through the house. But as the sun started to set, an eerie silence fell over the home. The once bustling kitchen was now deserted, the clatter of pots and pans replaced by an unsettling quiet. The turkey, once the star of the show, now sat in the oven, forgotten and overcooked. The once lively house now felt cold and empty, a stark contrast to the warmth and cheer of the morning. The family searched the house, calling out for their missing relatives. Their calls echoed off the empty walls, the silence in response growing more deafening with each passing minute. The once familiar home now felt foreign and threatening, each creak and groan of the old house sending chills down their spines. Eventually, they discovered a hidden basement, the entrance cleverly concealed behind a bookcase. As they descended into the darkness, the air grew cold, and an overpowering smell of decay filled their nostrils. There, in the dimly lit basement, they found their missing family members. But they were not as they had left them. Their bodies were lifeless, their faces frozen in expressions of terror. In the corner of the room, the family's beloved pet turkey was perched, its eyes glowing a demonic red. In the end, it was the turkey that had been the harbinger of their doom. The family's Thanksgiving tradition had turned into a horrifying nightmare, their day of gratitude and love morphing into a tale of terror and despair. So dear listeners, how would you have reacted in such a situation? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Before we delve into our next tale, hit the like button if you're enjoying these frightful stories. There's something chilling about the unexpected, isn't there? The way it creeps up on you, the way it makes your heart beat faster, the way it sends shivers down your spine. It's that very thrill we seek in the dark corners of our imagination. The thrill that makes us question the world around us. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. What's your take on these tales? Do they stir your deepest fears or spark your curiosity? Maybe you have your own eerie stories to share. Remember, there's a thin line between reality and the supernatural. As we pause for a moment, let the suspense build. Let the shadows in the room grow a little darker. Let the silence grow a little deeper. Feel the anticipation, the delicious dread that comes before the unknown. Now, brace yourselves as we venture into our next tale of Thanksgiving terror. Our second story, dear listeners, 
is one of a Thanksgiving dinner that became a feast of fear. In a small town nestled between the slopes of an evergreen mountain, a family gathered to celebrate Thanksgiving. The Petersons were a close-knit group with relatives traveling from all corners of the country to return to their familial home, a home that, unbeknownst to them, was about to be the stage for a chilling event. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the Petersons' house glowed warmly in the encroaching darkness. Laughter and the smell of roasted turkey filled the air, a picture of holiday cheer. But as the evening wore on, an unsettling energy began to seep into the house. The lights flickered, the wind howled, shadows danced across the walls in a spectral ballet. The youngest of the Petersons, little Timmy, was the first to sense something amiss. He claimed to see a shadowy figure lurking in the corners of his vision, a dark spectre that disappeared whenever he tried to focus on it. The adults dismissed it as a child's overactive imagination, fueled by the ghost stories his older cousins had been telling. But soon, others began to notice strange occurrences. The grandfather clock in the hallway struck 13 times instead of the usual 12. The family dog, usually a ball of energy, refused to leave its corner, its eyes wide and tail tucked between its legs. The temperature in the house dropped inexplicably, a chill that no amount of fire could fend off. Just as the family were about to sit down for dinner, a loud crash echoed through the house. The large antique mirror in the living room had shattered into a thousand pieces, seemingly of its own accord. As the Petersons stood in shock, a chilling realization began to dawn on them. They were not alone in the house. The atmosphere shifted from festive to fearful in an instant. The turkey grew cold on the table as the family huddled together, the roaring fire in the hearth casting long, monstrous shadows on the walls. They decided to stick together, hoping for safety in numbers. But as the clock struck midnight, a blood-curdling scream echoed through the house. They rushed to the source, only to find the room empty, the window wide open. As they stood there, hearts pounding, a spine-chilling thought struck them. Had the shadowy figure Timmy saw been more than just a figment of his imagination? Was there something sinister in their midst, turning their Thanksgiving celebration into a terrifying ordeal? What do you think happened next? Share your theories in the comments section. Our final tale, dear listeners, is a chilling account of a Thanksgiving night that turned into a nightmare. It was a cold November evening in a small town where everyone knew everyone. The Johnson family was known for their annual Thanksgiving gatherings, a tradition they held dear. This particular year, the Johnsons had invited a new face, a distant relative, to join their festive dinner. As the evening unfolded, a sense of unease began to creep in. It was subtle at first, like a shadow lurking just out of sight. The new guest, a man named Richard, had a strange aura about him. His eyes held a distant look and his conversations were filled with cryptic undertones. The clock struck midnight and the once lively party was now reduced to a quiet murmur. Most of the guests had retired for the night, leaving only a few night owls in the living room. Richard, who had been quiet for most of the evening, suddenly stood up. His eyes were wide, a stark contrast to his earlier distant gaze. In a voice that sent shivers down everyone's spine, he began to tell a story, a story of an ancient curse that plagued his bloodline. He spoke of a spirit that haunted his family every Thanksgiving night, seeking revenge for a centuries-old slight. His tale was woven with such vivid detail and terror that the room fell into a deathly silence. Then, as quickly as he had started, he stopped. His story unfinished, Richard's eyes rolled back and he collapsed to the floor. The room erupted into chaos. Everyone rushed to his aid, but it was too late. Richard was gone. His life snuffed out as swiftly as a candle in the wind. The horror of the night didn't end there. Just as the family was grappling with the sudden demise of Richard, strange occurrences began to unfold. Doors slammed shut on their own, lights flickered and chilling whispers echoed through the house. It was as if Richard's tale had come to life, 
casting a shadow of terror over the once joyous gathering. The night ended with the break of dawn, but the terror etched in the hearts of the Johnson family remained. Their Thanksgiving gathering had turned into a night of unspeakable horror, a memory that would haunt them for the rest of their lives. With that, we've reached the end of our terrifying journey. But before we part ways, there's something we'd like you to do. Did these tales send a shiver down your spine? Or perhaps they've left you hungry for more? If you're craving more such spine-tingling tales, we're here to satisfy that hunger. We're always on the hunt for the most spine-chilling, blood-curdling stories to share with you. Don't miss out on the terror, the suspense, the thrill. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button. It's the best way to show your appreciation for our creepy concoctions. Share these stories with others, spread the horror, and let us know in the comments which tale left you the most unsettled. And of course, subscribe to our channel. We promise we got plenty more where these came from. Stories that will make your skin crawl and your heart pound. Remember, dear listeners, the world is full of mysteries and horrors. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, sweet nightmares.